Hi everyone. Let's talk bangs, fringe, and face frame. Whatever it is you wanna call it, it's this front of your hair and the most important. Oddly enough, it's the one part that no one's ever scared to cut. Now, we've all seen those DIY bang disasters. Not today, Corona, not today. I'm here to help. You'll need a comb, a scissor, and some clips. Now remember, this works at any length, but the most important rule, regardless of whose bangs you're cutting, is less is more. Less is more. Less is more. Here we go. Take your clip from your natural part, come down in triangle direction towards the top of the arch of your eyebrow. Top of my arch. Please don't judge my gray, I need my color done. Next side. Top of my arch. And here's what we're working with. Oh, this is a good look. Now, I definitely recommend cutting your bangs however you wear your hair. So if you wear a middle part or a side part, cut it from there. And if you normally blow out the front of your hair or all of your hair, cut them that way. I normally wear my hair with some wave and curl, so I'm gonna cut it in its natural state. Now, you want to comb through what you're cutting to make sure that you can get your fingers cleanly around the hair. Pull it down to where you wanna cut and keep it close to the face so that you don't pull out away from your face. Close to the face. When you get to where you wanna go, open the fingers and close them again so that you can release some of the tension so that the hair has a little bit of room to spring up so we don't have any mistakes. Now, from here, I want my bangs to angle shorter on the in the inside, longer on the ends. So I'm gonna come in and snip, 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 snip. Always cut in, 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 in. Now this side is cut and we can see how this front part is shorter and this end is longer. Now for the other side, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna slightly comb. We're gonna pick up some of your other side. Again, going from short to long. Snip, snip, snip in. And we're done. Now, here's my new fringe. You can also cut them straight across if that's how you wear them, or you can angle them a little bit deeper, however you would like. Now, I have a ton of hair, so I need to continue a little bit further back to blend some more of this, and I'm just gonna angle that right in the side. Here's my finished product, guys, my new fringe. Remember, it's hair, it grows, and I'm really looking forward to seeing all of you in May.